The basketball court has always been Tony Snell's escape. I love this game so much. I just have so much. When I'm out here, I could just be free, be myself. But it's a place where his teammates of today could never have imagined how he grew up. From young to like, I would probably say like my junior year of college. Like my freshman year of college, I was a mute. Like all my teammates would tell you I didn't say much. So when Snell's son Carter exhibited some of his tendencies from a young age, Snell and his wife reached out to a doctor. My oldest son, he's three years old. He was like doing like how I was when I was younger. I was quiet and you know not talking much and doing a lot of action stuff. And we tested him and he had it. Autism is what Carter Snell had. And Tony wondered about himself. So it kind of questioned, do I have it too? So that, makes, that made me want to get tested. And sure enough, I had it. Learning he was on the autism spectrum answered so many questions for Snell about himself and his son. All the things he does now, like I, I remember it's like a flashback of what I did, so it just makes sense. Snell is upfront about his diagnosis, the same way he hopes to help the young players he mentors with the Maine Celtics. He hopes others can learn from what he's experienced. Like we have the knowledge and you know research and stuff that can help help uh, understand us better and you know I'm continuing to try to spread the spread the awareness and just try to help them out. Helping out, it's Snell's role on the main Celtics and helping out the young players is something he's proud of. That's, that's my job is to help these guys and uh, I think this year I've got I got used to that role last year of talking a little bit more, telling them what I see, how we get better. It's a great feeling to see that the guys are, like respect me enough to listen and you know it's, it's helping them a lot too.